uh, John Wilhelm. I'm the president of the Unite Here International Union. And, and how many uh, workers does the union represent overall? About 300,000 in the United States and Canada. Oh, wow, and so what brings you here today? Well, this is part of a nationwide uh, day of protest on behalf of Hyatt Housekeepers. Uh, we're having actions of this kind, or in fact, in one case, a strike in 10 cities in the United States, and they all are, have the same goal, which is to get Hyatt to treat housekeepers with respect and dignity that they deserve. They work very hard. Uh, they're practically invisible to the company. The company treats them as disposable. The company has been uh, bringing in uh, uh, subcontracting companies that pay half as much and laying off housekeepers. Uh, Hyatt housekeepers have been uh, shown in a scientifically validated study to have the highest injury rates in the whole hotel industry. So we're saying this has to stop. Uh, the Hyatt is a very profitable corporation. They don't have to treat workers this way. So why? what is it that makes the injury rates higher here than anywhere else? Hyatt has worked uh, harder at uh, pushing housekeepers to do more work. In a, non, in a typical non-union Hyatt hotel, housekeepers have to do between 25 and 30 rooms a day. Now think about that. Depending on whether there's one bed or two in the room, that's somewhere between 25 and 40 beds. It's cleaning the rest of the room, it's scrubbing 25 to 30 bathrooms in, a, in an eight-hour day. It's, it's uh, humanly impossible. It breaks people's bodies down. Uh, now, you mentioned that in one of the cities, there's a strike. In, what are the conditions in that city that differ from here? Uh, they're similar, but the, the workers in, in the Park Hyatt Hotel in Chicago uh, decided to go on strike for a day to uh, make their voices be heard. Do you, do you see that uh, kind of thing happening here? It's always possible, but the, in, in our union, we believe that uh, workers in each city make those kind of decisions. So that's that's up to these folks. I see. Now, uh, there's been some legislation moving through Sacramento about yes. uh, a housekeeper safety with respect to uh, long-handled mops and and uh, fitted sheets. Can you speak about that? Sure. It's, it there shouldn't have to be legislation. Fitted sheets are a no-brainer. Fitted sheets are perfectly okay for the guests. They uh, save a, a considerable amount of bending uh, for the housekeepers. And there's absolutely no reason that the hotels uh, uh, shouldn't just do that on their own. But for whatever reason, they've refused. Any idea why they would refuse? No, we don't understand it. Uh, it, it, it it's not a matter of guest service. It's perfectly okay for the customers. Most people have fitted sheets in their homes for the same reason. Uh, and and the, the long handled mops are a disgrace, and particularly in California. You know, 40 years ago, there was an enormous fight in California about uh, uh, the uh, uh, in, in the fields, uh, uh, the short-handled hoe, which was backbreaking for agricultural workers. And this is the same. The short-handled mops are, are backbreaking for uh, housekeepers. The same fight 40 years later. Except instead of being in the fields, it's in the hotels. But it's it's basically the same workforce as Latinos. Now, do, have other hotel chains uh, supplied their housekeepers with long-handled mops and fitted sheets, or is this an industry-wide standard? Uh, for the Not most part, it's industry-wide. Some, the, some of the companies have, in some cities where the union is particularly strong, New York City, for example, have uh, agreed to fitted sheets. But uh, in terms of the whole, the whole chains, it's an industry-wide problem. The, the thing that makes Hyatt worse is they demand so many more rooms every day uh, of, of each housekeeper. Now, you mentioned that the non-union housekeepers do 25 or up to 30 rooms in a day. What, what's the difference in conditions at a union hotel? Uh, in, a, in a typical union hotel, housekeepers do 14 or 15 or 16 rooms a day. It's still a lot of work, but it's nothing like uh, what they're faced with in non-union hotels. 